Hey guys and girls, welcome back to YYC Designs Custom RC Creations. I'm Twist. Today we're going to do a little bit of work on root beer. First of all, I got some new parts in and we're going to start there. So very, very groovy root beers. Differentials showed up. Let's open this puppy up. And have a look and see what we got. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit of a package from RC4 Wheel Drive here. And we got one, two diffs. Let me get this stuff out of the way here. Okay. And we'll get on with this video, all right? So, I ordered a couple of the, let's see if we can get this to focus here for you, the RC four-wheel drive Yoda 2 uh, scale cast axle front and rear. The uh, rear one here is part number ZA0081. And of course, the front is ZA0080. So let me uh, open up the front one here because there's some stuff I want to show you real quick. Okay, these are a very sexy little axle. They come packaged so well. I just love this RC4 wheel drive. <laughs> RC4 wheel drive does an amazing job of packaging these these axles and all. Okay, so these are the Yoda 2 axles that we are planning on putting into root beer. However, one thing you'll notice is that these are for a sprung truck. In other words, truck with springs. Now, root beer though is a four link, okay? Let's turn it around so front is front and back is back, left is right, left is left, and all of that jazz. Okay, so root beer though is going to be a four link, not a sprung suspension. Yeah, this is why I have this little piece of paper here because as you notice now, this is where right here where your springs attach. Yeah you get all your hardware you got to buy those separate and of course then you put your steering arm on so that everything functions and all of that i'm not going to get into that today because uh we got to build that arm yet which we will also be doing i also bought her some of these links now these are part number um i'm trying to read it through the camera which isn't working these are part number Z-S1468. They're M4 high precision uh, billet tie rod ends that uh, we're going to be using on her. These are the nice little metal jobs, of course. Ergo the word billet. And these are going to be her tie rod ends for the links I made uh, in the last video. Okay, so those aside, because that's kind of the end of those for the moment. Okay, now, what I'm going to have to do, and yes, I know you can buy this piece. I'm well aware you can buy it. Uh, what it is, is it's a little saddle that screws in, comes over, goes over the hump, and ta attaches down into the other saddle, and it gives you the little, um, I will say, components to bolt your links into. Now, that piece what is going to happen my pen just exploded all over the place so that one is now garbage and i will move to using a uh, felt pen instead here hopefully this one works what we'll do is we have the differential so i will make a piece that comes up and across and down so okay now it will bolt in the same way here into the differential of course the pumpkin being here and the spring mounts on the diff here yeah a little hard to uh, do this through a camera but y'all are getting the idea of it anyhow that's that's the main point so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build 
this little saddle because I cannot see spending $30 Canadian plus shipping for a little chunk of metal that big. All I have to do is make the saddle and on this saddle now I'm gonna this will is obviously a front view I'm going to give you a top view now a top view down okay so let's say this is the new saddle we made there will be the bend so that it can have the bolt holes it requires two more bolt holes to bolt into the other side now we're looking top down like this okay so this piece here will bolt in so conversely this one this side the center piece of course clears the pumpkin but on this what I have to do is add two pieces that will get welded on so and that way when it happens the links and the ends can be bolted through so okay so that's what we're going to start with here today is we're going to start making this little saddle and this little piece it might be a little hard to show you but that's why i am explaining it this way rather than trying to explain it out in the big shop where we have uh, not quite as good a light and all of that and so that I can explain it to you. So all in the end all I will have to do is run two little six to eight millimeter screws through this new saddle I make. And she will bolt in to this beautiful Yoda 2 billet axle on the front and on the back. And she will then be a four link. And I will have saved myself 30 bucks for two little pieces of metal. And that's my point. <laughs> Oh,